On the epic map Westworld, we are playing a 1v1 match in BFME 1 on the patch 2.2 to this time with the Isengard army and we are facing and fighting against the Mordor army. The clash of the evil factions, Sauron versus Saruman. Now, right off the bat, Mordor is a very strong faction on a map like Westworld, which has plenty of settlements, which are helping Mordor a lot to get to the mid to lead game power spike. And remember, Mordor is a faction that has the chance to recruit three flying creatures, the two Nazgûs and the Witch King, which means keeping the map control as Isengard against Mordor in long terms is close to be impossible. But for that reason, we need to use our early game presence and try our best to deny Mordor to get to the mid to lead game power spike. And hopefully, we will be able to win this game way before this is going to happen. And also against Mordor as Isengard, you want to build up two furnaces at the beginning of the game, because unlike Orcs, Uruks, they cost money, and if you build the Uruk pit and build outside settlements and you lose them, which can eventually happen, you are screwed. <laughs> for that reason, please make sure to build two furnaces at the beginning, just for the worst case scenario, even if you lose your outside settlements, you are still in the game and you can still play the game. Okay, so he was not building this mill in the middle of the map, which is smart from him, because, you know, building offensively against Isengard, against Urukai, is kind of uh, not a good choice, because Uruks, they are the fastest and the strongest swordmen, and that's the reason why Isengard is the only faction in the game that has only one starting unit. But remember, this is, our, this is no rebel of mindless orcs. These are Urukai, my dear subscribers. Their armor is thick and their schlong, no, not schlong, their shields is broad. Okay, so one more furnace. We need to, after that one, build the Uruk pit and start definitely recruiting some units. But early on, with the Warchant, we will try to just focus down the mills. You don't want to fight against Orcs, that would be a waste of time. Yes, you are able to kill them, but it's better to ignore them and take down the structures instead. Okay, we will be able to destroy this, that's good. And now move to the second one, ASCP. And as you can see, he's pressuring us all the time with the Golem. And that's not a good thing. And imagine if he would have, like, before Uruk Pit start, he would be poor already. Remember, 300 for the Uruk Pit, 200 for the Urukai. And then you can only grab two settlements outside. And the chances that there is going to be a Golem killing your workers is pretty high. So it's too high of a risk, which is not even being rewarded that much on a map like Westfold. Maybe on a map like Forts of Eisen, which is a small map, you can do stuff. But Westfold is definitely a huge map in which Isengard will struggle in long terms. But again, our goal is to not let Mordo to reach this power spike. That's very important. Oh, can I deny this? Oh, nice. Come on, please. Maybe the worker is not gonna die. So our money is not looking too shabby because of the double furnace start. And again, instead of fighting against orcs in a one-on-one -on -one situation, we need to try to avoid that and go for the buildings exclusively. And with the next Warchan, and Warchan is the spell you want to play around as Isengard. The second your Warchan is available for the second time, you want to clump like two, three Urukai, Warchan them all, and split them to take down as many mills as you can. You know, you don't want to clump and fight against one mill or clump against orcs. That's just not efficient enough. Because, you know, even if you kill orcs, what are you going to get from it? Mordor can just keep recruiting them all the time for free. So... Later on, we might, you know, recruit some Berserkers to deal with the Orc spam or eventually even build the Warp Pit. But for now, that's not going to be the case. And our goal is to also demolish one of the furnaces later on and build the Armory with Forge Blades and Heavy Armor. We will try to go for an early Beast Rush. And hopefully, the Mordor is not going to be prepared for that by having like a Mountain Troll. If this is going to be the case, we can actually win this game quite early. And that's also what we are aiming for in this game. Okay, so Warchant is available. Once again, clamp all of them together. Let's use Warchant. And then split them and try to deal as much damage as we, can, as we potentially can, okay? That's the plan. You go to the top side, one by one. This three should be able to take down three of the enemy meals. And keep recruiting more and more and more, so we can get finally the Uruk Pit to level two, which is not gonna unlock only the chance to recruit the Berserkers, but also the chance to get units on the field 25% faster. And in order to keep with the spam, so by, you know, as we are talking, I'm assuming the model player has at least at bare minimum two orc pits, maybe even three orc pits. And the second he will 
start capturing those outposts on the map Westfold, there are four different outposts. He will be building even more orc pits. So there is going to be constant and non-stop pressure on us. And, you know, you cannot outspam Mordor. That's not possible. You will have not enough money to do that. And remember, Warcraters can actually be a solid choice early mid-game, but even in mid-game, you know, that's the thing. In this map, you cannot really shut down Mordor completely because by the time you destroy a mill, you will have other mills, you can creep a lot, get a lot of money, and the second a fell beast is joining the battlefield, guys, it's going to be game over. Trust me on that one. A couple of days ago, we made the tier list for all the units and heroes of the game, and some of you guys complained about my choice placing a Nazgul to the god tier spot. But trust me, if you know what to do with the Nazgul, it's very hard to play against it. Because on a map like this especially, you know, the Nazguls are unmatched in terms of speed. So in order to take down a Nazgul, you need to have at bare minimum 3-4 crossbow men. But keep in mind that the patch 2.22 improved the fear effect. So basically, level 2 all alone is not gonna give you fear resistant anymore. <laughs> and you need Saruman or Lurz level 5 to actually get fear resistant. And that's only one Nazgul. Imagine having two Nazguls and a Witch King. So, you know, that's gonna be a tough one. Okay, we need to try to rush him now. That's very important. Money is not looking too shabby. We have the Forge Blades. Maybe it was kind of overkill for me to wait for the heavy armor. Maybe I was losing too much time. We will definitely find out. I just want to make sure that I have heavy armor too. This way I can become also tanky and tank all these sentry towers for a much longer duration. Okay, boy. So the Vorchan is available. And hopefully this is going to work out. That's very important because that's a huge investment of mine trying to accomplish that. You know, it's like a high risk, high reward. If he has nothing to defend, this might be even game ending. But if he has something to defend, we just maybe outplayed ourselves by investing that much money into nothing. Crossing the finger, boys. Let's go. Come on, Urukai. Come on, the fighting Urukai. I trust you. Come on now. Yes, furnaces, I see. Sentry towers. Oh, the troll cage is there, Luis. And the troll cage is opening. No way. The unluckiest dude. I made such a huge and major mistake. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I should have not waited for the heavy armor. I should have just rushed them with the forge blades. And when I would do that, I would be definitely able to get to the troll cage before the troll comes out on the field. Holy guacamole, guys. <laughs> that's the beginning of the end. Trust me. <laughs> that's like the start of the Doom. Because now our momentum and our early game presence is goners. Now with the, na with the trolls being on the field, I need to be extremely careful. Spamming Uruks is not going to be efficient anymore. And we need to now start recruiting crossbowmen. The one thing I need to keep, you know, you need to keep in mind is that you don't need to make combos against Mordor as Isengard. Recruiting crossbowmen only is definitely enough from three different reasons. The reason number one is the speed is the key to victory. Keep in mind that crossbowmen solo are faster than Urukai crossbowmen combination. The reason to, number two is actually um, that you don't even have the chance to use the wedge formation or the skirmish formation to deal more damage with your crossbowmen. And the reason number three is you have more firepower. Because you are not wasting any command points into the Urukai frontline. The frontline is not going to do anything for you in this matchup. Because if trolls can get to you, they will smash you. Even if there are Uruks or no in the frontline, that doesn't really matter anything. And instead of investing command points into the Uruks, you can just get more and more and more crossbowmen recruited. Those are the three reasons why you should definitely not, you know, combine your units against Mordor. Okay, come on now, Lourdes. Um, dude, <laughs> you know, that's going to be a tough one, boys. So we need to, as you can see, keeping map control in long terms is very difficult, right? That's the problem what we get. And that's only the beginning. He has no Nazgûs yet. We need to kind of find a solution to get Lourdes to level 5. You know, that's very important. In order to, you know, burst down the Nazgûls, the Witch King and the Trolls, we need as much damage leadership as we potentially can. And that's only possible with Lord's Level 5 and Warchan combination to, add, to get 110% more DPS. 
Other than that, we won't be able to kill the trolls fast enough and they will smash us. So the goal is to kill them before they can close the gap, before they can get to us and start smashing. And for that reason, we need a huge army of crossbowmen, like five, six, eight battalions. And early on with Lourdes, but later on also, Saruman has to definitely support them. Oh boy, guys. Wish me luck, man. Oh, please. Lourdes has to get the last hit on this one. We're gonna get level 3. That's going to be a good start. Two more levels away. We might also need to pick up the Tainted Land. Just in case he's gonna use his own Tainted Land. And then we need to use ours to cover that. Remember, Tainted Land is working like a freezing rain. And we will be losing all our leadership bonuses. Which, long story short, would be a nightmare. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> the age of Uruks is over. The age of the Orcs has come, boys. So let's pick up the Tainted Land. And, you know, we need to kind of find a solution, but I'm very scared to recruit war riders. They're actually quite expensive, as we have no slaughterhouses to get the food bonus to make them cheaper. And also, in order to upgrade them, we need to roundabout invest 2,000 into making one proper war rider, which seems to be a little bit too much at this point, because I'm not very certain how close or how far away he is actually from recruiting a Nazgul or even the Witch King. So if we get war riders, and he has, Naz he has like a Nazgul, uh, they won't do anything but feed the mortal player even more power points. And look at this, man. The orcs are killing my berserkers in a single second. Are you kidding me? More, 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 more. Dude. We also need to... I don't know if this is what we are doing here is actually a good thing. We need to maybe kind of start recruiting um, or start capturing, rather, the outpost, you know? And then put some crossbowmen inside the outpost to have like a is some sort of protection and then play from outpost to outpost and work our way up at the end to the enemy castle so let's do that by starting the outpost at the top side we need to also get the freezing rain boys freezing rain is essential against mordor we need to make sure we have something to negate the enemy leadership bonuses if the freezing rain he will be forced to recruit some catapults because his trolls are going to be one shot one shotable one shotable if this is an english word we can one shot them you know that's what i'm trying to say with our crossbow man with this much leadership our lords is almost level four that's good we need only one more level to get him to level five that's dope but he's being annoying you know he's being annoying you see that's the power of murder in those kind of maps because the map is just too big for me to split and as I need to rotate from one location to the other location, my my opponent has the time to actually recapture something or destroy something. I need to, at some point of the game, I need like two big armies, you know, like two armies with each six, seven crossbowmen in each army. Then I need to rotate from the top and bottom side at the same time. I think that's the only way, but again, that's going to be too expensive. And at this point of the game, I would most likely like to save up for... Uh, Saruman, to have even more leadership and more bursts with the fireball and with the warm tongue, having more crowd control and some uh, shenanigans in those big fights, we can maybe steal the enemy trolls and make them fight for us. That's why I believe Saruman is going to be essential. Oh boy, guys, I don't know what he got. I don't know what he got, but we are about to find out. We are about to find out. We know he has outpost there. He has potentially also outpost at the bottom side. Now the question is, how much of a defense does he actually... Oh my goodness, run! Run, 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 run! Abort mission! Dude, I'm telling you, look how rich he is. He has like 25,000 trolls and 5,859 Nazgûls and 7,857 drummer trolls. And not to mention the 1,250,000 orcs. Dude, what can man do against such a reckless hit? Run abort mission. Luckily, we were able to save a couple of these units, but holy moly, guys. We need, you know, the only way we can deal with this army is actually having the freezing rain. And also Saruman. Talking about Saruman, let's recruit him. And hopefully a new power is going to rise 
and victory is gonna be at hand. But I have my doubts about this one, I'm telling you boys. Mordor lead team is something else. Wake up, we've lost the Citadel! We will taste Crossbows! Okay, so we have four power points collected. We need only two more power points, but holy moly, boys. This army, and we are losing, we are shrinking. Our map control? Oh, the thunder. Okay, Saruman, I, I mean, you convinced me now. Okay, guys, Saruman actually motivated me. Victory is at hand. Victory is at hand. We're gonna win this game, boys. Go, 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 go. All right, four power points collected. Come on now. I need the two, top, two power points ASAP, and hopefully, hopefully. He won't have any siege weapons anytime soon. Kill them. Move, Fireball him, Saruman. Take this. Dude, I don't even hurt them anymore. They have too much leadership. Darkness, Witch King, Drummer Troll. Oh, I have no war chant. Steal them, Saruman. Yes, we need to cover the Sainted Land. Oh, go, Saruman. The old man, move. Move, old man. Holy moly, stop sitting there. Move. Move! I hate this game, boys. Dude, I hate this game. That's so tilting. He just come. He just came. He just came. And he died 20 seconds later. Are you joking? Are you joking? I mean, at least we got the freezing rain. Good. <laughs> That's so nice. That's such a tilting game. You see how hard it is for me to kill those trolls, guys. And then some of you guys, Mordor feels so underwhelming. What can I do against Arches? Dude. Guys, you gotta relax. The amount of leadership Mordor has is something else. You can make to you can make those trolls literally to tanks, and I don't know what you're complaining about. Mordor's lead game is unmatched. I can guarantee you that ten trolls can always kill ten combos, ten arches, twenty arches. And remember, one combo costs even more command points than a one than one troll does. One combo costs more money than a troll does. So what are you complaining about? <laughs> Stop complaining about Mordor. Okay, Saruman is back on the menu. Uh, okay, so you know, let's. We got it. Oh my goodness, he has like a big army behind my base too. I can't be everywhere. That's the problem. We are kind of broke, and we cannot really go for the de uh, for the devastation, which will lower our you know, like increase the amount of power points we need. To reach to the Balrog special summon. We can also not go for the Field of Fires because we have to pick up the Freezing Rain against Mordor and Rohan when you play Isengard. You have to pick up the Freezing Rain to shut down the leadership bonuses. That's the only way Isengard can deal with those two factions. Against Gondor, you don't really need because Gondor is generally a faction that doesn't really rely. But you can see, as the second we are moving, yes, the tools in the army now a second nice ghoul to actually kill those outposts we capture, you know? That's what I was saying at the beginning of the game. Keeping map control against Mordor in long terms on a map like Westfold is very tough. It's very tough. And we are kind of broke, but hopefully we can still turn the scheme around. We need to keep recruiting more and more and more units. And hopefully this army is going to be enough to face and fight against the forces of Mordor, boys. Wish me luck, wish me luck for this game. This game, I think this game is going to last a while. I don't see us being... If he did anytime soon, I also don't see us winning this game anytime soon. So, in order to win this game in a helpful way, in, in a less risky way, we need to do what I said before, even though it's hard, you know, it's, it's easier said than done. You now, going from outpost to outpost and capture them one by one. That's what we literally need to try to do. Okay, let's go. Nothing will stand in our way. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so we have uh, three power points. And the thing is, I don't even know how close he actually is for a Balrog, Balrog special summon. Remember, from killing orcs, we don't get as many power points as him getting, you know, from killing Uruks or Crossbowmen. I'm assuming he will be able to win the power point race to Balrog. Uh, but I'm not sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have, the yet, have it yet, but he might be really close for it. Because he was using darkness already way before I could use my freezing rain. So he's definitely ahead in the power points department. Servants of my will. Nothing will stand in our way. Move on. But that's good. I was able to destroy the outpost. That's huge. My army is also not looking too bad. We can also use speechcraft on them over and over again. Let's capture this outpost now. 
but we have zero control around the top side and also like zero control in the mid side so he's definitely having a lot of money and we don't really know what is awaiting us you know in the castle he might have like 25,000 trolls or even worse than that having 50 siege weapons you know it would be even a worse situation because crossbowmen are going to literally get one shot it from the seats from the siege works you know from the catapults okay let's rotate now to the outpost at the bottom left side um okay let's take it down our money is still not looking good we need to use industry once again there we go boom i mean we need to get everything that we, that we can everything that we can oh he's coming he's coming okay but this time we have freezing rain okay guys so that's gonna be a huge clash in fiesta fight he has even catapults now are you kidding me oh well 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 oh, well 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 oh my goodness I mean, he has too many trolls and Nazgûls and Witch... He has both the Nazgûls, right? Yeah, he has both the Nazgûls and the Witch King. He's too rich. Look at them. Look at this army of Mordor. Okay, we killed one of them. Steal them. Fight for me. Fight for me and I will reward you. We need to cover this. We need to cover this. Okay, now we've leadership back on the menu, boys. Let's send those trolls to actually kill those catapults. Saruman, 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 peel back. Don't die on me. We gotta burst down those Nazgûls. Witch King is the priority. Witch King, please die. Please get a please die. But they are knocking down our army all the time on the ground. That was six. Saruman, now that's good. We killed the catapults. Kogo trolls dying to the towers. And nice. That was actually a good fight. But we cannot really punish him for that. We cannot really keep pushing. Because our army is also badly damaged. So we need to now build a Uruk pit. And recruit more and more and more units from this location as well. As we have to also take down this outpost ASCP. Now, after winning a fight. We need to start conquering stuff. So, conquer. Fight. Conquer. Fight. Conquer. Fight. That's the way you want to play on a map like this. You cannot go for one big all-out fight and hope for the best because the risk of you losing the fight and then losing the game right after is huge. Okay, so this is good. We will be able also to take down this outpost. Let's level them up once again. The orcs are being annoying. There is even a troll. We gotta take care of that. Should be fine because the freezing rain is still active. So the troll has no leadership bonuses. I mean, I mean, this is actually a tough matchup. I mean, the matchup is depending also on the map. But generally, you can see that Isengard falls off against Mordor big time in late game. You know? Because imagine him having like 10 more siege weapons there. It would be an absolute disaster. And all he has to really do is keep those catapults protected with the mountain trolls. That means we cannot get into the melee range to take them down faster and keep shooting you know keep shooting from a safe distance oh he's coming around from the middle too oh my goodness how much money does this guy actually have how much money does this guy actually have i don't know oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy we have nine power points collected but i'm assuming and i'm afraid that he has definitely way more power points collected boys okay so <laughs> we need money dude we are kind of broke we need furnaces we also need devastation i know we also need fuel the fires i know but i won't pick anything from these until hey there is one guy remaining so you go back and heal up let's give him the banner and also these guys are better damage so you can recover guys and we can rotate with the bigger army and once again we need to try to take outpost control but you see he's pressuring us non-stop 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 Okay, so <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> Dude, this actually this game is feeling really rough, boys. Feeling really rough. Oh my, what is this actually? He has like a huge army there. Are you kidding me? One shot them, please, please kill, kill, kill. Dude, they don't want to die too. We get 112 for killing one of the trolls. 112, that's good. Uh, we have 10 power points in the bank. I don't know how close he is. Once again, for the Balrog special summon. More trolls are coming. Saruman has to be careful. We gotta kill these trolls. But, dude, I'm telling you, our crossbowmen are getting bullied so extremely hard. They don't. Okay, nice. We save the Saruman this time. We gotta kill this catapult ASCP. He's spamming siege now on us all the time. And we have only 11 power points, so we need 9 more for the Balrog Special Summon. And with the Balrog Special Summon, we have to take care of his uh, Siege Works. We need to make sure that he doesn't have this much uh, Siege Production anymore. That's really annoying to deal with, you know? Okay, we need to replace the Uruk Pit, make a tower, just for the self-defense of, of the Outpost. And we need to now make another army and commit on this. Imagine, you know, <laughs> that's the problem. You know, you have not enough eco. I mean, because... 
Now our money is looking good, but the second I upgrade them, you see it cost me like more than a thousand to upgrade one single crossbowman with banner, with heavy armor and with the pyros, you know what I'm saying? So, like 1,500 you need to run about to actually, let's see it, to actually get a fully functional crossbowman army. Oh my goodness, man. And the worst thing is our freezing rain is on cooldown too. That's the worst part of the story. Oh boy. So we gotta kind of face this, but I don't know how. I don't know how. We need to try our best. So we have leadership from Lourdes. But I, I still feel like we cannot really one-shot those catapults and we cannot really one-shot those trolls either, you know? Okay, we need e-power points. Hopefully we will get to the point in which we can summon the Balrog. Look, this game is actually quite fun though. It's pretty back and forth game. We have a huge army now. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. He has his Nazgus back. He has his Witch King back. But keeping map control is so difficult. It's so difficult against Mordor. And he has so many catapults too. And the only way we can actually successfully kill them, burst them, is the Fireball from Saruman. But the Fireball is only able to kill one of the catapults. You know, that's the problem. Okay, so Freezing Rain is available, that's good. What is this Mordor army actually doing? Let's kill this troll, okay? I mean, the troll is separated. When the Witch King, the Nazgûl, and the Drummer troll are far away, those trolls can't really achieve too much. Please move, don't get shot on the feast, crossbow man combo! Dude, it's so hard! Okay, beautiful fireball, by the way. I mean, Visa Plus to kill all these orcs. The orcs are annoying, they're body blocking us also. But in the meantime, the trolls and the Nazgûl actually took care of the outpost. Now we gotta kill... Uh, okay, we can we can cover this, no problem. We missed the Worm Tongue. We had only one of the trolls. Okay, we have 14 power points collected. We gotta kill the Witch King, but three flying creatures. They are creating so much pressure on us. They are knocking down our army on the ground and we cannot even shoot them. That's the problem. Dude. Dude. Uh, <laughs> this actually feels rough, man. This actually feels really rough. Okay, I mean, he's also able to save them all the time. We need to make... Uh, I was cash floating too. Um, kill this troll, please. I mean, these trolls are actually so painful. Not because of the damage they are dealing. With the freezing rain, they are not dealing too much damage anymore. But the thing that they can knock us on the ground every single time. That's the annoying part about that. And here's the Balrog too now. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm so tilted, guys. I'm so tilted. I mean, I'm still four power points away from the Balrog summon myself, though. I'm still four power points away from the Balrog summon myself. That's unbelievable how clo how actually ahead he is. Because now after the Balrog summon, he can also pick the Devastation, get the Call the Horde. You know, he has so many options. That's going to be a wrap. Oh my goodness, man. The amount of damage the Balrog dealt to us, though. Dude. Oh boy. Guys, I think I need to stop talking a little bit less and focus more on the gameplay a little bit. <laughs> because I'm about to lose this game. I'm about to lose my mind. Dude, that's so annoying and tilting at the same time. Oh, he's coming, boys. The Balrog, the engine, is flying to us. He's flying to us. He's hungry for the flesh of Saruman and the flesh of Lourdes. So keep running, crossbow man. Keep running, Isengard army. Keep running, keep running, keep running. We need to start rebuilding stuff now inside the castle too. That's going to take us a lot of time, of course. Hopefully the, the Balrog has no more time. That's good. So now, I mean, the thing is, we have no power and no potential possibility to split the army in two pieces and move from the top and bottom side. We have seen, even with Saruman and Lords being around, how devastating those Nazgûl can be. Oh my goodness, the Catacombs spam, dude! Stop! Dude, uh, that's crazy. Go fireball them, please. Let's just watch and look the army of orcs, man. The army of orcs. We gotta kill those catapults. I don't know how we can kill them, but we, get, we gotta kill them. None can compete with the Villa of Saruman. Are you sure about that? I think Mordor can, my friend. Dude, that's so tilting and annoying. Okay. Okay. Nice. We kill them. That's good. There are three power points only from the Balrog. Our Balrog has to be a successful summon. Has to be a successful summon. 17 power points now. 17. We need to replace the um, beast completely with additional furnaces and also build the Uruk pits. He has a siege works and on, on only one, I believe, inside the main castle. But I'm assuming he has way more than that in the outpost he has. Around the top side. Come to me, my creatures. 
Okay, boy. So 18 power points collected. And only two more power points away. Two more power points only away. To get to the point in which we can summon our own demon. Oh, he's coming, boys. He's coming, boys. Okay, we need to bait him into our big army. The screech doesn't work. So I, everything is on cooldown from Saruman. That's the, oh my goodness, how many draws does he actually have? Oh, he's chasing my Saruman, dog. He's chasing my Saruman. Okay, fireball. Dude, there was a huge fireball. They actually get a lot of money too from the scavenger of Lords, the pillage. Oh, nice. That was actually a good fight for us. He overcommitted there, to be honest with you guys. He overcommitted there. That's good. And this fight was also giving us the power points we needed to get the Balrog summon. Now the question is, can we summon the Balrog and follow up with the army to actually finish the castle? That would be the dream situation. However, even if we can somehow do that, we are not in a situation in which we can buy the castle because we have no money. And he's also sieging our castle at the same time from the top side. So now this Balrog summon has to be successful. That's very important. Come on, Balrog. I believe in you. Kill the, kill the Baradur already. Come on, Balrog. Now the Bright Fire has to hit like a truck. Our army is so damaged, though. I'm very, I'm very scared to commit. I don't want to lose my entire army. He's sieging with catapults from the top side. I have nothing to defend myself there. And the Bright Fire doesn't one-shot level 3 production buildings. Let's use Warchant and go ham. You need to take a risk. You need to actually play risky because we will eventually lose this game if you don't. So can I... Whip this, Fialbis or Nazgul, take this. Which King, I mean, without Ignite, it won't be one-shotting him. When you Ignite and Whip, you can one-shot the Nazgul and the Witch King. But without Ignite, that's not possible. I mean, he has also a Catapult there. We gotta Fireball this one. Oh, man. Oh, man. The Whip has, a, like, a really long cooldown, too. I want, I'm gonna heal this. He has Darkness. We can use the Freezing Rain very soon, though. Let's use Fire, uh, fire Breath there. Oh, no. None can compete with the Will of Saruman. There's not many catapults left on the field anymore. It's like, I, I see only one catapult. But, dude, there is nothing. I, I will lose this base, by the way, guys. I will lose this base slowly but surely. And I'm also broke. And unfortunately, I won't be even able to buy this castle. But it looks like we'll be able to take it down. It's actually a huge achievement. And the only thing that we can do is hope that the Mordor doesn't have the money to actually rebuy the castle. That's the only thing that we can do about this situation. But because, because we cannot camp here... Until we get 5,000. Eventually, that's going to take us a long time to get 5,000. And this is annoying. <laughs> this is annoying. This is annoying. I don't know. In this kind of situations, normally, I don't get into those lead games, you know? But in those kind of situations, it's very hard. So we need the vestition. I don't know if this is going to be enough to get us the money we need. But we need to also defend our castle. That's the problem. We are in a very weird situation, you know? We cannot split. Yes, the Nazgûls and Witch King still remaining on the field. Come on now. Okay, we have 2,000. Still 3,000 away from getting the castle. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Now, 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 now. Our time has come. I mean, we have at least the bottom side, I guess. But we cannot even kill this level 3 Lumber Mill. It has like self defense. It will shoot us down. <laughs> Okay, maybe, somehow, maybe we can actually defend our castle. We have also one crossbowman here. We gotta kill those catapults before this happens. Let's fireball one of these. That is a witch king. What is this witch king doing? He's so low. Oh, he wanna buy the castle back. He wanna buy the castle back, don't you? You wanna buy the castle back, don't you? I wanna steal them, fight for me. Okay, we killed the Nazgul too. We killed the witch king and the Nazgul. Can we somehow magically defend this? Please, 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 please. You see, the rotation time is so long. Oh my goodness, man. He's crushing. Look how hard these catapults are hitting us. With leadership of Saruman having 50% more armor and the heavy armor, they still get one-shotted. Dude, it looks like we'll be able to barely save this castle. That's good. That's actually good. Okay, now we gotta send one of these packs. I don't know how close he is to for the, for the second Balrog summon. Because I'm assuming he might be there very soon. The Balrog might be ready in about two minutes. Now we destroyed his castle. Oh, sorry. We destroyed his castle and we also defended our own castle. Now, hopefully... Now, when he has the money to buy the castle back, that's... That's unfortunate, I think. We can't do... We can't stop him, you know? If he wants to pay it back and if he has the money, we cannot stop him from doing it. Okay, I mean, I'm assuming he has a lot of money, right? He has potentially pillage now from the Spellbook of Ice, uh, of Mordor. That means he also gets money for each kill. And, you know, the Scavenger spell from Mordor is more efficient than the pillage from Lourdes. 
because it's a power point. Power points are most of the time more efficient than hero abilities. In long story short, you get more value from the scavenger than you would get from the pillage of Lourdes. So I'm really scared about how close he actually is for the second Balrog summon. I don't want to lose my castle. My castle is very vulnerable now. Okay, I mean, uh, we have... Oh my goodness! <laughs> Help me! Yes. No way! No way! Saruman, run, please! Uh, come back here! Oh, he's gonna breath fire! <laughs> Dude, we are poor now. Dude, we are poor now, guys. We need to revive our Saruman somehow. We can now pick the Field of Fire, so that's good. <laughs> that I'm tilted. I want to actually focus on the game, guys. Please give me like a minute. I need to really focus on the game to kind of turn this game around. We are still in a good spot. I think it's still winnable, but it's going to be extremely hard. So give me like a minute. I need to focus. <laughs> guys it's so rough dude it's so rough i don't even think i'm playing this bad you know but i think uh, the capabilities of the army factions of the factions in this game is like the map is just just favoring the mother faction a lot you know that's the problem and the scatterpools are so annoying and the thing is i cannot really do much about the scatterpools besides really trying to kill them with my uh, saruman or or with my uh, archers but while doing that, I will also lose a lot of them and feed even more power points, give him more money from the scavenger. And he was also able to buy the castle back, so long story short, it's looking really bad. We need to now, hopefully, be able to, sec to destroy it for the second time. Uh, without Sarmans on the field now, it's going to be definitely way harder. Our army is also not looking very strong. And he has still trolls. Our freezing rain is uh, available though, that's good. Uh, we have also the field of fires. So please, Barzakers, to kill those catapults. That's all I'm asking me to do. Two shots, that's good. Just keep moving, keep moving. Dodge, 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 dodge. That's very important. Keep moving all the time. That's the one way to avoid those. You know, the amount of micro in this game is actually crazy. Okay, we have the Balrog summon. Let's use the Palantir. And summon it on top of the catapults. He has double siege now. He's spamming siege everywhere. From the outpost, from this outpost too. I don't know what we have to do. <laughs> I don't know what we have to do, boys. But he's rich, that's what I can confirm you. Because he has on his lot of houses and he's still spamming those siege warriors all the time. All the time. That's extremely annoying. Okay, we actually oh, there was actually good breath fire. Holy moly dude, this is unfair. This is literally unfair. Saruman is here now. But this catapult spam is so unfair. We gotta use freezing rain and fireball. Um, fireball! Good. Okay, fireball the witch king, please. Can we kill the witch king? Balrog, I mean, we need to micro at the same time. The witch king is so tanky. He's so tanky. Let's steal it. What can I do? I need to use my warm tongue literally to steal one of the catapults. <laughs> it's so tilting from downtown, from left, right, from left, right, top, middle, bottom. This is annoying. Annoy, stop it. Catapult spammer. 
Oh mein, hier ist... <lacht> This is tilting. This game is so tilting, boys. This is so tilting. I don't even think I'm playing this bad, really. Okay, I mean, can we destroy it, though? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think we can destroy it. We have not many archers left. That's the problem. Yes, let's use the Vid of Saruman. And hopefully, we have Fireball on cooldown. The Witch King is back to full HP. Just why not? And, yeah. And yeah, we gotta also kill those catapults. We need to defend, we need to attack. The two outposts at the top side, they are actually the most annoying part about the situation for us because he's getting infinite money. And also, once again, from the just from the fact that he has also uh, see it. the scavenger from the Spellbook of Mortar, he's getting just too much value from it, you know? And this Witch King is gonna clean up everything. So, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Fireball! Take this! Nice. Oh, he's gonna fly away now. Where is my Lords? Lords cripple him already, Lords! And he misses! Lords! Lords, you gotta stop it! You we cannot afford mistakes like that, Lords! I will report you! Screw screw you, Lords! Oh man, okay, we defended at least. Dude. Oh, we will lose Lords too. I mean we have money now, that's good. We need to revive them. <laughs> Dude, look how much how much how fast we got to ten thousand. What the heck? That's crazy, we have 10,000 in the bank. Holy moly, we need, but the problem is we just lost Lord, lost Lords. Might even lose our Saruman. Witch King die, Witch King die, Witch King die. Nice, Witch King is dead, that's good. That's very good, actually. Oh uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know, man, I don't know, man, I don't know, man. This is one of the roughest games I've actually played in my life. Okay, I mean... The question is, can those two crossbow men take down the outpost? I don't think so, because if he wants to take them down with an ass bull, he can easily do that. And more catapults! Oh boy. Dude, my crossbow man getting one shot, that is the most tilting thing in the world. Literally the most tilting thing in the world. Hey, this. Okay. Okay, let's get them. Oh my goodness, Saruman is even getting bullied by the catapults. The catapults are so unfair in this game, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I get it, I don't want to blame him because he really needs them a lot in this situation because what can the trolls do when I use the freezing rain? They can't do much, so Mordor, in, in, in order to be able to win the fights against Isengard consistently, needs to definitely recruit some siege weapons, I get it. But he's just spamming them too much now, you know? He's like having five, I mean, he's too rich. That's the problem, and the problem lies on the map. Like, I cannot really shut down Mordor. If this would be on a map like Forts of Isen, it, it would be a different story, but this map is just too huge for the Mordor faction. I mean, for me to deal with the Mordor faction, that's the problem. Come to me, my creatures. Yes, yes, I'm watching you. Come to me, my creatures. They're attacking us. Nothing okay, round round 25. <laughs> round 25. Let's try to do some stuff. The problem is... I can't... The, 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 the thing is, the also orcs are actually very hard. Because I cannot ignore them. If I ignore them, if I let them attack my crossbowmen over and over again, they will kill my crossbowmen. Crossbowmen are horrible melee fighters. So they have almost zero... I'm done, dude. Dude, I'm done. <laughs> Get me out of this game. This is tilting. This is tilting. Please. Yeah, Shanks. Mordor feels so weak, Shanks. Patch 2.22 always was always taking care of the good faction, Shanks. Mordor feels so weak, Shanks. Uh, I hope after this game you won't say that anymore, guys. It's the only thing I hope from this game. <laughs> this is so tilting. Look, I, I was having like 10,000. I'm broke now. I'm broke now. The upgrades for Isengard armies are just too expensive, you know? They are just too expensive and I lost them every single time. Oh man, maybe I should have gone for the combos. Maybe I should have just risked it and go for the Valk Riders to kill the catapults. But the thing is, my I, I feel still like that my Valk Riders would be not be able to do anything. Oh, the Balrog is taking care of the outposts, of course. We will be losing it once again. Dude, how many times did he actually get the chance to summon Balrog? Like two, three, three times, right? Three times. One time he was using it in the, ba in the base and two times he was using it to kill the army and Saruman. So in total, three Balrog summons. 
I don't know, man. I, I feel like my crossbowmen are also not dealing too much damage to those, to those Velvies, considering the fact that they are so extremely expensive. They cost 400 each, and alone the fire arrow for Isengard costs 600. So, when you just buy crossbowmen and fire arrow, that's a thousand resource investment. And I, I believe they are not dealing too much damage, so we need to definitely buff them. <laughs> we need to buff them in the next upcoming version. I believe that's a very rough matchup, you know? That was also the case in the original version. Mordor was always stomping Isengard. We were trying to kind of buff Isengard a little bit. And when it comes to make changes to the patch 2.22, we want to actually do it slowly. You know, small adjustments, see how it goes, and then, you know, increase the adjustment a little bit. But instead of buffing it too much and making it OP and then having to revert the changes, you know? That's not the route or the path we are following. Uh, and I still believe... After playing this game, actually, that Isengard still needs some love against Mordor in long terms. I mean, again, depends also on the map a little bit. Uh, maybe on a map like Forts of Isen, this would be a way different matchup. But on this map, it just feels underwhelming. You know, the power of Isengard doesn't really feel like it can match with the power of Mordor in long terms, in long games. And closing the game quite fast on a map like this is also nearly impossible. Isengard will prevail. I'm a bolt ready. Attack formation. Stay in range. I mean, we are broke, boys. That's the problem. I mean, you know, losing Saruman over and over again to Balrog doesn't help because reviving Saruman is also so expensive. With the heal, none can compete with the will of Saruman. Okay. Nothing will stand in our way. The enemy is nice. A new power is rising. Fool! Listen here. We make fire. Do it. <laughs> Come to me, my <laughs> the catapult troll spam. The OG please I love Mordor. Please kill them, please kill them, please kill Oh, more of them are coming. Just why not? Come three Nazgus once again. Just why not? Just why not? What can I do against those Nazgus guys? How many crossbowmen do I actually need to kill them fast enough? Now they can just come in on my on my Saruman. That's the problem. And he's gone. He's dead. There is no way he can survive this. My Lord just died. My Saruman will die. I cannot save him. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm tilted. <laughs> I'm, I'm really doing it. Okay, so Barok, do stuff. Do stuff. Just why not? You know? Oh my goodness, man. Dude, the problem is, he's gonna summon his Barok once again, and I'm not even prepared for that. Look at that. I'm not even able to revive my heroes anymore. And make army at the same time. The amount of units I lose, I cannot replace fast enough to actually regain the control once again. And I was never able to get to the full population because I keep losing army, which I'm, re I'm really not trying to, right? I don't want to lose my army, but... The second I, the catapult shoots me, I'm dead. I'm literally dead. So can I actually finish off? Oh, look at this catapult. He has too many catapults. He doesn't. He even forgets about them. You see this catapult spam, guys. You gotta love to see it. You gotta love to see it. And the motor catapults are so busted. They are the cheapest catapults in the game. They cost only 800 if you have zero furnaces. If you have full furnaces, you can reduce the cost up to uh, down to 480. So. And they don't even need to get Firestone. We need to actually make them more expensive, definitely. We need to make them more expensive. Because I feel like they are too good for the price they have, you know? Oh, can I hit you? Oh, that was close. And I won't be able to finish off this castle. He will just be able to rebuild it. And I don't think I can defend, de destroy this either. Because he will come with the Nazgûs now. And you see... I don't know who it, who it uh, guys. I don't know who it was, but somebody of you guys were messaged in the in the comment section and said, "Yeah, Shanks, I don't know about nice goose being in the god tier. They don't feel good." Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, come on now. I hope you change your mind after this one. I hope you change your mind after this one. Oh my goodness, man. Look at this, dude. What can I do against that? What can I? And by the way, my level ten combo doesn't even recover. I just noticed. They don't even recover and heal up over time. There is also a siege for Oryx. We are actually shrinking. We have like, what, two, three settlements outside? And we are broke. We are, we are poor. We can't do anything. Kill this catapult, please. Oh, yeah, of course. He has one more behind. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
don't get fooled by the fact that I'm laughing. I'm a person, when I'm getting tilted, I always laugh. So it's not like I'm happy now, guys. It's not like I'm happy now. But, you know what? I think that's gonna be the first game. We will be losing in the multiplayer on this channel. And you guys wanted to see me losing all the time. And hopefully you are happy now, because I am not. Okay, I am clearly not happy. But I hope that you are. I hope that you are happy. You have the war chant if you need. Zaruman is here, but we are shrinking. I mean, we have a couple of units at the bottom left outpost too, but I'm afraid that there is going to be a, a fourth Balrog now. Oh man, I wish I could play this matchup other way around. I'm telling you guys, I wish I would be the Mordor in this situation and he would play in the Isengard. I really wish that. I mean... I'm actually also curious about how many units I killed in this game, even though we will... I think we are gonna lose this game, boys. I don't think we can turn this game around anymore, because he will have access to the Balrog summon way before me. Oh boy. Steal them, I guess. What can I do? Fight for me, catapults. I kill the catapults. Kill your own catapults. Thank you very much. And by the way, if he kills them, I still get the money from it. What? That's interesting. Okay. I mean, it looked like I got the money. I don't know. Maybe you guys can check also in the money in the bottom side. Um, just to see or confirm that I was the one who got the money. Maybe he got the money because he has also the scavenger from the spare book. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Deja vu. Hey, you know what's up? Deja vu is up. Hey, you gotta laugh to see it, boys. You gotta... Can't touch this. I use Palantir to run fast. But there comes the cavalry. In this case, the flying creatures. The annoying creatures. Balrog is going... And the worst part is, I can... Not even... <laughs> I cannot even... Oh man, I don't know what to say. If I lose the castle, I cannot even buy it back. As you can see, I'm so poor, you know? I'm so poor, I'm so poor, I'm so poor. I can use the Vestition once again, though. Let's hide in the corner, I guess. And hopefully he won't be able to find our Saruman. I don't know how many times I lost the Saruman already in this game, but I don't want to lose him one more time. <laughs> oh, the, um, oh, yeah, he's going to definitely take it down. Yeah, yeah, he has Trolls here, the Nazgûs, the Witch King, Orcs, uh, plenty of Orcs. You know, the Orcs are feeling like Neo in the Matrix. You know, you remember the scene when Neo was saying, I, I need guns, and then lots of guns, you know? This, this player is the same. I need orcs. Lots of orcs. Oh boy. The Balrog is gone though. That's good. Uh, I want to actually fireball the trolls. I don't want to fireball the Nazgûs because I can damage them but not kill them. I want to fireball the trolls. Go, 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 go. Okay, we were able to destroy the outpost. That's good. But, you know, what, what's the matter? This guy will... I think he has enough money to buy this castle. So he will have two outposts and two castles. None can compete with the will of Saruman. Saruman feels good, but he's what can Saruman do against such a reckless seed? Oh yeah, he's also tanky against Nazgûs, but not tanky enough. That's all the army I got, boys. That's the all the army I got. And boys, 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 boys. I have one furnace <laughs> to work with. <laughs> Dude, this is so fiesta. In a, in a bad way. In a bad way. Hey, I'm not happy to lose, by the way. I know you guys will be happy. You will be like, yes, finally Shanks upload a video in which he lose. Yes, that's what I wanted to see. I don't know why you guys hate me that much. Why you always want to see me lose. But you know what? Here you go, boys. You deserved it. Thank you for the support to the channel. Thank you for leaving a like. And for that reason, you get what you want, what you're asking for. He, by the way, just bought a castle. So that's like the end of the game. He's coming to the outpost. I don't think I will be able to defend this. Let's go for Saruman one more time from the outpost. And hopefully we'll be able to defend. We have almost the, <laughs> the Balrog back up. Maybe we can use the Balrog. Go, go, Lords. Lords, you, I trust on you. I trust on you, Lords. Use your cardage. Use your sword. Take this. The fighting Uruke. You disappoint me, Lords, by the way. You miss your pin of, uh, pin ability many, many times in this game. Look, the catapults are coming just for no reason from somewhere on the map. It's so tilting. Boom. Come on, come on. Can I burst them down? These are four crossbowmen with 110% more damage. And look at this. Look at this. What is this? Yeah, Shanks, the Nazgûs are not good, Shanks. <laughs> Uh, he killed almost my full army. And by the way, this army is so expensive. This, because now he can just revive those Nazgûs for free. 
But anyway, you can revive them all for free in about three minutes. Yes, I'm back on the field, but I cannot do the same about my crossbow man. I cannot revive them for free. I'm gonna just summon the barrel here, get the siege works. But I'm about to lose this outpost. Maybe I can stall the game a little bit longer, but I don't think it's gonna. I mean, I'm just at this point. I'm at this point of the game. I'm just hoping that he will lose connection or something. You know what I'm saying? That he will lose connection because that's legit the only way at this point of the game how I can still win this game. He played good though. I mean, I gotta give him credits. He played good. Um, but I also played good. I don't think I played bad. I don't know. I don't think I played. Uh, I made major mistakes in this game. Maybe I was too greedy. I think that's one of the mistakes I made. I was going for the heavy armor. I should have just gone for the for the forge plates and rush him down. Don't give him the chance at the first place to get to this power spag. But it was also good on the other side to see and also to showcase you guys the power of Mordor in the super late game. Okay, I mean, I don't think I will be able to finish up this castle. But we killed the catapults at least. <laughs> Oh, he's coming. Oh, okay. Fight for me, troll. Come on, troll. I got, I, I got you, troll. They're attacking us. We have work to do. Our time has come. Defeat the camp. Okay, boy. So that's good. Uh, kinda. <laughs> I'm so tilted. I'm so tilted. I don't know what to say. It's some at this point of the game, boys. What a suffer game. I don't know how long this is going for. It feels like five hours of defense, five hours of torturing by having to deal with catapults, siege weapons, two Nazgûls, Witch King flying on me, attacking me from 25,000 different sides, and me trying to micro like in the Matrix. And he's like, dodge this, dodge this, and I cannot dodge. Possibly all of the shots being fired on my face and hitting me like a truck. So that's the last remaining outpost. I know he will have the, <laughs> the Balrog very, very soon. And this will be the ending of this game, boys. I hope you still enjoyed this one. Even though it was a torture for me, hopefully it was enjoyable at least for you. And it was a good game, though. It was a good game, I can't complain. It was a really good game. I wish I could have won this, of course. And I think I would have won this game. But then it would be not, it would be not that great game. If I would be able to rush him down with the first rush of mine... If I would just be a little bit faster and skip the heavy armor and go for the forge plates and just rush him, I think I would be there before his troll could join the battlefield and the amount of damage I would deal back, you know, in this case would be just much, much greater. But sometimes we are greedy, sometimes we are greedy creatures <laughs> and I wanted to just make sure that I have heavy armor too. But you can see time investment and time management is very important when you play against Mordor. The quicker you are, the better it is. The better it is. Take this, trolls. I mean, Saruman is actually a pretty good, strong hero. But again, there are just too many units, too many Nazgûls, too many catapults. Even for Saruman, even for Gandalf. Mm-hmm, okay. Um... I mean, we are stalling, though. <laughs> we are stalling. Again, we are at this point just hoping that there is going to be a disconnect screen, and then I will just kick him, and then we will have this victorious screen. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> and also, by the way, I don't, I'm not a person I don't give up that fast. I always fight until the end, and I believe, you know, one of, one of the things that I, what annoys me the most about other players is that they give up too early. They just call it uh, GG when something goes wrong. I think there is always a comeback potential. Maybe not in this situation anymore, you know, but it's... It's just too much. But in many situations in which other people are saying GG, I feel like there is a comeback potential, you know? I mean, we have still some money, but it's just not enough. It's just not enough to get it done. <laughs> we have a Berserk army, though. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The capability... Oh, there comes the cavalry, boys. Oh. What can men do against such a reckless I can cover this, though. My, my warden is on cooldown. Yes, we will be able to take down the Witch King. That's good. Maybe the Nazgul too. Come on now. But he... Oh, oh no, come on now. It's a deja vu once again. I have nightmares of this now. I cannot sleep tonight. I will see Balrog summoned under my butt. You know what I'm saying? And wiping out my army over and over again. 
And by the way, we nerfed the ultimate summons. Can you imagine? We nerfed their cooldowns a lot. We nerfed their damage and they are still so busted. The amount of... Oh, <laughs> this Balrog. This Balrog seriously doesn't have problem with... I mean, he has some problems with, with um, our Saruman. He has some problems with our Saruman. Yeah, I think at this point we can call it GG, boys. What's a good game. I hope you enjoyed this one. Nah, just, just end me already. Just end me already. GG, just end me already. So I can take a look into the units I killed in this game and try to find uh, one single tiny reason to get happy after this game. Dude, I'm not even unhappy. I'm not even sad or mad at myself because I don't think I played this game bad. I could have, of course, played it a bit better. But I think overall my performance in this game wasn't even too shabby. Or what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think I could have played this better? Do you think I could have done something else which could eventually lead me to victory? I'm genuinely cu curious about that. Okay, Shanks has been defeated. That's the screen you all wanted to see. Defeated. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's take a look into the money. He had 50,000 more money than me and we killed 2,734 units. Normally, I killed this many units in AI matches. GG well played. I hope to see you next time, guys. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.